So, I always open with that. I'm like, hi, okay, so, and I always say that and just stop it, but I can't get out of the habit. Anyway, <coughs> so as you know, if you've been watching the rest of my channel, I have been stretching my ears, and while I'm not exactly at my goal size yet, I do enjoy shopping immensely, and I have amassed a large collection, and I don't really know how to store it, but I decided that pill containers would be a good way to go. So this is my plug storage. It's a little cheaper than buying like those actual plug boxes that you get at like on websites or whatever. And since I don't plan on going to a very large size, I don't need like a big, big box. Like I see some people using uh, button boxes, like for sewing, or bait and tackle boxes for like fishing, but I found these at Walgreens and the compartment is actually pretty large, so they're perfect. And oops. And if you don't have a lot of plugs and you're at a small size, this little mini 7 day pill container is pretty cool too. I really have no idea how people like put their plugs in this container and they know what size it is. Maybe they all buy the same size plugs or I don't know. Some people are just like, oh yes, this is this size and this is this size and they're in the same box and honestly, all the sizes look kind of the same to me and I do have a caliper when I worked in the fashion industry. It's the same thing as like a button measure. I still to this day do not know how to use it, but what I did is I got a little masking tape and a sharpie and I put the sizes on and in, ooh, and in this one as well, like I don't know if you can see it inside, um, I have the sizes in masking tape so I will never get confused as long as I don't misplace them and put them in the different, like the wrong, um, the wrong, uh, what's it called, the wrong compartments, and if I do, then one day if they don't fit in my ears, then I know it's the wrong size for me, my ears anyway. So yeah, super simple, I'm so excited. <clears throat> but I sort them by these in the little pill container are all glass plugs. So as you can see, Oh god, I don't want this to spill out. These are all my glass ones. And this has two sides, a 14 day pill container. And on this side, I am putting all of my O-rings and all of my non-metal ones and non-glass ones. So far, I only have the silicone pair right here. They glow in the dark. And then on this side are all of my metal pairs. And on either side, here and here, are miscellaneous jewelry. Like these are small gauge, um, like CBRs that I used to wear in my ears. Let's see? And my lip bar, which I have since retired, if you noticed, I don't have it anymore. And these two, it's a taper and a spiral that my friend gave me that I never used, sorry, but I kept them. And this one's pretty, the diachronic glass, but I think I might be too big of a size at this point to use it. Oops. And on the other side is my random jewelry. I have a couple rings in here. See, I'm not even going to separate them, but a bunch of rings. And then here I have a mood ring, which is awesome. It's my favorite. I love mood anything, so that's how you get my money. Let's see if I can make it turn blue. See? It's so awesome. I love it. And this is my chrome hearts ring I bought a long time ago. And... It says FU on it. And the last compartment 
is just a chain, but this ball chain is actually kind of expensive and sterling silver, so that's why I kind of have it in here rather than just laying around because it's quite pricey. But yeah, so that's just my plug storage.